Do you want to start using Adobe Illustrator to create vector illustrations? Well, here are three things that you need to do before you get started. It might seem a bit hard to understand where to get started with learning to create illustrations, especially in Adobe Illustrator, but first you have to ask yourself why you'd like to do this. Finding and defining your why will keep you going once you pass the initial excitement stage. So I know for me, a bunch of times I got really excited about something only to drop it after a few days just because I realized that, oh, it's actually going to be hard. So just like every other skill that you know, especially one that you can turn into a career, this is going to take a bit of time. It was always interesting to me seeing people that are willing to put in so much time into learning something they're not passionate about just because it's in school so they can pass an exam that probably won't help them compared to how much effort people are willing to put into learning a skill they're actually interested in or that can change their actual life. So if your why is because you want to express yourself or you want to turn this into a career or just have fun, I think it's good to actually know that beforehand as you'll probably get to a point where it's going to get hard and you'll only have yourself to keep yourself on track. So that why is going to be the reason why you continue doing it. The second reason is probably pretty straightforward is finding the right inspiration for you. Especially in the beginning, if you're like me, I'm guessing you initially saw someone's work and thought, whoa, it would be pretty cool if I can do something like that or even better get paid to create something like that. But the second step you need to do before you get started is to start looking and find artists or illustrators that you look up to. This is going to play a big role in your initial development because Whoever you look up to will heavily influence your own style. The way I recommend doing it is finding two or three illustrators, whether that's on Instagram, on Dribbble, on Behance, and actually study and take some notes, like with your hand on a piece of paper. Those notes should be about what piqued your interest when you saw it. Was it the colors they used, the complexity of their characters? the story that they tell like what picked your interest first and try to take a few minutes to write those down and that's going to tell you the initial direction you want to explore with your own designs but i know that most people won't do that most people will just look at some dribble posts think that it's pretty cool if they could do something like that and just get on with their day and not do anything but hopefully that's not you so you can do it you can do it in a notion doc you can do it on a notes app on your phone in a google doc just create a new page a new document called initial inspiration take screenshots put it there and write your thoughts about them by doing this you'll start having your own bank of ideas that you can try to either recreate or do your own versions after you learn the basics of illustrator then the last one is probably going to be the hardest but that's to actually get started so I'm saying getting started just in case the word commitment is too scary for you. I know that finding the time in the day is easier said than done. And I was in this situation a few months back where I wanted to learn a completely new skill, but I was finding it super hard to actually find time to do it, even though I do have time to just sit on my phone. <laughs> so, so it wasn't an actual time issue. It was just me being too scared to actually put in the work. So what I did, and hopefully you learn this from me and you don't have to do the same thing. I hired a performance coach and this is how I was able to actually do it. So first I needed to help myself by finding the right time to do it in the day. For me, I always leave things towards the end of the day, but by the time I get there, I'm just way too exhausted to try something new. So the best way for me was to learn something new in the morning. Then the issue of finding a spot in the morning came about. I realized that like when I wake up, I would spend about 30 minutes to an hour on my phone in my bed, which is super comfortable. It's way better than putting yourself in a challenging position, but that won't move me closer to my goals. So my performance coach helped me by reducing friction. What I needed to do was leave my phone on my work desk before I go to sleep. So I'm going to get up to get it. Once I'm there, just start the timer of 10 minutes and put 10 minutes into learning this new thing. 10 minutes, not more, because initially I was like, okay, but I'm gonna start with 10 minutes, but maybe I want to do it more. No, just a timer on your phone, 10 minutes, look for inspiration, work towards the first steps of this new skill. And once those 10 minutes are over, get up, go on with your day. So this was basically my first week. Then in the second week, we brought it up to 20 minutes, then eventually to 30 minutes and then to one hour every morning. So you'd be surprised 
how much progress you can make this way instead of just waiting for the perfect time where you'll actually have three empty hours for something or five hours okay now i'm going to learn about vector illustrations no that that just won't happen because you'll fill that time with something else so I hope these three tips were useful and will help you get things started. I've also attached the sketch and the illustrator file of the video that you just saw. The link is in the description of this tutorial. Don't forget to like it if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more. See you in the next one. Bye.